Two years ago, I shared with you my first experience on mesh Wi-Fi routers with my Tenda Nova MW3 and reviewed here on our channel. Now, with a much faster fiber Wi-Fi boost that we had right now, it's time to upgrade. But with the sea of new mesh routers on the market now, and they're pretty expensive too, what's a perfect product to get that can give you faster internet without burning our wallets? Hey guys, James here, and this is Tech MNO. Join me as I upgrade my mesh router to the TP-Link Deco X20 Wi-Fi 6 mesh routers, and I will try to help explain you some terminologies I saw on the box, and also we will answer the question if this is the perfect mesh router for your home. So let's start the video now with the unboxing. This is the retail packaging of the TP-Link Deco X20 Wi-Fi 6 AX1800 Wi-Fi Mesh Router. I know that's a long product name, but we'll dissect that later. The one that I got here is a 3-pack, but you can buy this one in either 2-pack or a single router. Once opened, we are greeted with the mesh routers itself. On the bottom is a small box that contains three power adapters, a quick start guide, and finally, a LAN cable for connecting it to your modem. And that's it for the unboxing. If you're interested in buying the Deco X20 Wi-Fi mesh or any part of their Deco products, I will have a link for them in the description below or in the link that you can click right here. Expecting the Deco X20 nodes on the front is the Deco logo. On the bottom of the note is where you can find the reset button and the LED light. And finally, on the back has two gigabit LAN ports and a port for power. Before we set this up, let's address the elephant in the room for a moment. I'm pretty sure you're scratching your heads right now with the terminologies I mentioned earlier. What is Wi-Fi 6 and what is AX1800? Well, let's discuss that now. So Wi-Fi 6 is a not-so-new Wi-Fi standard now that gives almost three times the speed of what Wi-Fi 5 is offering. At the time of this recording, the much newer Wi-Fi standards are Wi-Fi 7 and 6E. But that's for another video. So the Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11ax is using the 5 GHz band that the Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac uses too. However, from the maximum of 3.5 gigabits per second that Wi-Fi 5 is offering in terms of speed, Wi-Fi 6 on the other hand gives much faster speed up to 9.6 gigabits per second. But just a quick note here, the numbers I provided are theoretical speeds only. It will still depend on your internet plan. Now we're done with Wi-Fi 6, let's talk about the other meaning of the AX1800 that the Deco X20 Wi-Fi mesh had. If you listen carefully a while ago, I mentioned 802.11ax. That is the wireless network standard of Wi-Fi 6. But what's with the number? So the 1800 number is the sum of all of the speeds across all bands that the router can use and provide. Basically means that the Deco X20 Wi-Fi mesh can give a total of almost 1800 Mbps when transmitting and receiving. However, like I mentioned earlier, it will depend on your internet speed plan that you get. So, for example, our monthly fiber internet plan from PLDT was upgraded to 400 Mbps from 100 Mbps before. So, since choosing my next mesh router, I tried to pick one that is at least feature-proof and can give me the highest speed possible but not so expensive. While yes, there's a Deco X10 that has AX1500, I go a step further to X20 with AX1800 so if once our plan goes up again, it wouldn't be another upgrade. Now that I explained to you some of the terms used in the product, let's go ahead and set this Deco X20 mesh now. But before that, you should install the TP-Link Deco app on the App Store or Google Play and register or log in ahead of time for a smooth setup. First and foremost, you should turn off the modem or router so the process will be seamless and no problems will occur. Once done, you can now put the Deco X20 with the included LAN cable into the Ethernet port. On the Deco app, click Let's Begin and choose X20 as the model. Then turn on the router and the mesh now so we can start. Setting this up is super easy. Follow the on-screen prompt that has been highlighted on the app like choosing the connection type, putting the Wi-Fi daemon password, and connecting the other nodes to the main node. It's all on the app now. I didn't have a hard time juggling and manually scanning the nodes like the one I did on my tandem mesh router. I'm basically done with the setup on the Deco X20 in less than 5 minutes. Before we go any further, if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get you notified when a brand new video will come out. And follow us on our social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, or X. 
Instagram, and on TikTok at Tech Amino for more content and feature giveaways that you can check out in the card right here. So, we're done with the setup. Let's check first the Deco app for a second. The app is straightforward and easy to understand with the basic yet important information you need. On the main page, you can find options to check your internet speed, general Wi-Fi settings, the mesh Wi-Fi map of all nodes, and the devices that's connected to the mesh routers. There's a parental control tab, which name applies, controls your kids to access any inappropriate or unsafe websites, and a security tab where you can scan your internet or your router against malicious stuff, and a feature called device isolation for some smart home devices, phones or laptops to protect from security threats, and finally, a paid subscription called Security Plus for an extra layer of protection against threats and hacking, which I won't subscribe to. Finally is the More tab, which you can find advanced settings like choosing the Wi-Fi security that can carry up to WPA3 standard for activating guest networks, block device lists, network optimizations, LD controls in the nodes, firmware update, and some other stuff. The most helpful feature on the app for me is a guest network which I can use if someone will connect to my Wi-Fi for not too long and I don't want to give my main mesh password. And here is the moment you've all been waiting for, the speed test for the Deco X20. For this test, I will connect first to the default modem that our ISP gave as a test benchmark, then on the Deco X20 which is connected to the main modem, then to the second modem in our storage room, and finally the third and farthest location, this bedroom. By the way, I will use my Samsung Galaxy S21 FE as the test device and all of the speed test connections are on Wi-Fi 6 5GHz band on the Deco X20 and Wi-Fi 5 on the ISP's default modem router. Let's start off the speed test with the main modem. Then, let's connect now to the Deco X20 mesh router that is connected to the main modem. Let's try to check on the second nodes that's been placed on our storage room. And finally, let's do a speed test in my bedroom here with the third node of the X20 mesh. Okay, we're done with the setup, app walkthrough, and speed test. It's time to give you my thoughts on the Deco X20, starting off with its design. Compared to my tandem mesh router before, the Deco X20 is more chunky and slightly tall cylinder mesh. The only color available is white, but for me, it fits on every aesthetic on the house. Or if you want to hide it, you can. Or if you want, there's a wall mount that you can buy separately as well. In terms of the LED indicator here, it flows underneath the mesh and it's multicolored as well depending on the action it's doing. Once you turn on the mesh, it will turn yellow, signaling it's starting up to boot. Then it will be blue to show that it's ready to be set up. When everything is okay, the light will be in stable green, and if there's no internet connection, it will just blink red. In terms of connection performance, the Deco X20 can automatically switch you up to 5 GHz if you're near a node, or 2.4 GHz if you're too far away. The good news, however, if the mesh detects that you're near the next node possible, you've been switched there as soon as possible, making it seamless transfer without manually changing the networks. But of course, there's no perfect product in the world, so there are some things I didn't like here. But I'm happy to report that in my experience, it's only a few. But before that, I will mention that the Deco X20 does not have Wi-Fi backhaul for sending data from the satellites to the host, according to the review I read from Tom Sky. I just added this thing just for other people who might ask this or looking for this type of thing. But for me, I didn't know this thing and I don't mind that at the moment. So back to the cons. The first thing I didn't like is there's no option for the LED lights to dim a little bit. Yes, there's an option to schedule the time it's been turned off. But I don't want to turn it off, yet it is blindingly bright at night to say the least. 
And finally, the last one I experienced in the Deco X20, particularly in the app, is plastering of their subscription service. I know the Security Plus can stop giving away your info or compromise your connection to the intruders, but I guess you can tuck that away in the more section on the app. It's a bit obscured in my eyes. With all of the things I experienced on the TP-Link Deco X20 Wi-Fi 6 mesh router, the question is, is this the perfect mesh router for your home? Well, let's check the price first. At the time of this recording, the Deco X20's price starts at 3,390 pesos for a 1-pack, 6,290 pesos for a 2-pack, and a 3-pack that I have only costs you 8,990 pesos. Though, you can get this always on sale from time to time like I did. I got this 3-pack for the price of a 1-pack. Nice! If you're looking for a product that can solve your connection problems like unstable internet and Wi-Fi dead zone, the TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi mesh routers are always on the top recommendations and awarded them as an editor's choice from different reviewers, creators, and tech media publications. Overall, the TP-Link Deco X20 mesh router is a great product that provides fast and stable internet with a wider range of connections, and it's super easy to set up. Even non-techie can set this up in the breeze. Yes, it's a bit expensive to say the least. But if a product exceeds the expectation like me, for example, then you'll never mind the price you pay for it what it's worth. And it deserves a thumbs up for me. Do you have any questions about the TP-Link Deco X20? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to watch my re-review for the Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED, you can click right here. Or if you want to watch my other review videos, you can click the playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe to my two channels. Again, my name is James, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.